Alrighty, let's see what a bunch of dumb, low-quality women have to say about more entitlement garbage. In this case, there's a trend on TikTok where women are saying, well, it's, you know, women, a lot of these women, these women in particular, a lot of Western women tend to be very demanding when it comes to the baseline expectations of what they want from other people, right? Because they all are conditioned to think that they're incredibly special and that they deserve to be treated better than the average, you know, more than your average person. I hate to break it to you. I, I think that we've just got a, a very, very selfish culture of women. And to any women out there that say I have internalized misogyny or anything like that, that would require that I have a problem with women worldwide. I do not have a problem with women worldwide. I have a problem with Western women. We reflect on the fact that there are Western men that are flying out east to find wives. Are Eastern men coming out west to find wives? No. Where in the world are men flying out in droves to marry American women? Nobody wants us. Why? We're big. We're selfish. We don't want to hear anything. You can't tell me to eat less. You can't tell me to change my life. You can't tell me it's not about me. A lot of them don't like coffee dates because it's a reflection of just, I guess, the guy's intentions or something like that. We're going to hear what a lot of these dumb women have to say. And yes, they are dumb. Like, the arguments are made in a lot of them, by a lot of them, tend to come from a place of just expectation. Them demanding shit. Them wanting you to do stuff. More stuff than they already expect you to do so that they can be benefited at your expense. So. Let's, let's hear what these uh, dumb women have to say. Alrighty, let's go. And of course it's TikTok. You can't expect anything better from these people. So I do not accept coffee dates from men and I just want to talk about it. I do just want to say that my reasons are just that my own. So don't get under my comment section upset or in your feelings. So why don't I accept coffee? These are your reasons aren't your own. You were indoctrinated to believe in this, this shit. This, which is why you're probably gonna say the same exact shit that a lot of women in these other videos that we're gonna go over are saying because you think it's normal. It's a cultural thing. You've been conditioned to see it this way. So it's not yours. You don't have an individualist mindset where you can at least like, you can define the world through your own logical lens that you built on your own terms. It's gonna be shit that like you were told to believe in so that you can do stuff that hedge your bets in a way that benefits you. So let's just, it's a prerequisite. That's not a pre, uh, uh, a precursor to what to expect from the stupid shit that people are gonna say. So let's, let's get back into it. So why don't I accept coffee dates? Well, besides the fact that I'm really not much of a coffee drinker, I find that coffee dates are low effort, they are cheap, and they are the biggest waste of time, honestly. So when I go on dates, I truly do like to look my best because I do believe that first impressions matter. So I really do put a lot of effort into my look, and I find that... Oh, God, there's already... <laughs> low effort, right? It's funny how she sets it up as like, oh, I'm trying to set up a good impression. So... Are you going to do that once, say, if everything lines up in the way that you want it to, when you find some guy that is willing to give in to your egotistical, self-absorbed garbage, are you going to suddenly stop putting it? Are you going to be doing that every single time, right? Are you going to always be patting yourself up, masking the way that you actually look so that you can fool people to make it seem like you're actually more attractive than you really are? Are you going to be doing that for the rest of your life? Say, if you actually start living together, are you going to be put, Are you going to be keeping yourself in shape, looking good just for him? Are you gonna keep doing that? Or is it just for this one time so that you can catch something that you feel is good, that you feel, believe could benefit you? Hmm, it's, a, it's very funny. Also, low effort, they're taking you out and they're doing stuff. I mean, we haven't defined whether or not they're paying for you, which guarantee you that's an expectation, expectation for like all these women that we're gonna go over. Because they're all the same, all of them. They all have the same expectations. They all believe in shit that that benefits them because they're selfish. They're just not, not good people. And that's a, a, a a recurring, incessantly recurring theme in this part of the world, as I'm an American, speaking from American perspective. But low effort, you want them to put an effort on your behalf? How long could that be maintained? I thought it was about the connection. I thought it was about trying to find a, a valuable, suitable partner. But I bet you some of the girls are going to say, like, it's as if it's like some job interview, while completely disregarding the fact that that's what they're applying to the dude who asked them to go out. The dude who had to be the one that approaches you that offers you a proposition so that they can take you out while you sit there and fucking do nothing. You do the baseline expectation. You, you take care of yourself, which should be the expectation that applies universally to everyone. That's something the dude also has to do, presumably, if you're going to be saying fucking yes to him and, and to get him to take you out. Coffee dates are low effort. Like, so it's not about the conversations that you have. It's not about the interactions that you'll have. It's about what they can afford you. Hmm. Parasite. Let's hear more garbage. I find that putting effort into my appearance for $5 bean juice is a waste of time. So when you ask a man 
why do you like to take women out for coffee dates they will give you a bunch of reasons and i'm just here to tell you that they will never tell you the true reason as to why they ask women out on coffee dates they're going to lie to you they are going to guilt trip you by asking if you need free food if that's why you're asking for him to take you on a proper date do you need free food are you hungry and it's really just because hey welcome to being a dude oh you're broke just say so is that why you're taking me out on a coffee date is it just because you can't afford me you can't put it in effort wow low value dude the lack of self-awareness like this is why i say don't date western women there is so much mindless garbage just like this shit. this is so stupid She's do like she she has no degree of self awareness, no degree of personal accountability. It's just expectation, entitlement. If there's even just the slightest amount of pushback in regards to this environment that's skewed heavily in her favor. Just the fact that someone approaches her while she does fucking nothing, while she can just wait, like pick and choose which one she likes the most, she still expects more. Disgusting, like parasites. This is a parasite, dude. <laughs> Like, I'm glad that you're making a video like that. I mean, granted, most of the people who are asking on a date are not going to be aware of this shit, but like, if you share your dumbass opinion to somebody in real life and they're, they should just be like, all right, yeah, screw you, leave you there with the bill or something like that. Like, Jesus Christ, man, the level of entitlement is so disgusting. It's, it's so like infuriating. This isn't like just a random sporadic thing. This happened, this is, there's a trend here. This happens frequently. This type of stupid ass mindset where it's like, oh, I expect everything from you while I just do stuff for myself. And you have to accept that. And if you don't like that, I'm gonna just throw everything in the book that I can against you. Doing all the shit that she's saying dudes do to her, guilting, shaming, like, gaslighting it's it's disgusting dude like it's so it, what angers me so much about it is that like the intention behind it it's just more like western in like culture inferior bullshit like it's it's just women being propped up so that women can feel good about themselves at everyone else's expense it's disgusting dude this sucks man Let's hear what. Let's hear what else. Uh, what other stupid shit this 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 dumb idiot has to say. I want the woman to be able to prove that she is worth a proper meal. I don't care about what reasons they tell you. Oh, why does the price matter? It's about connection. You should only be focused. No, they don't believe in that. They really just want you to prove that you are worth a dinner. That you are worth a lunch. Just like the way that you're choosing to go out with that guy, he had to prove himself to you for you to think that he's a valid enough choice for you to make that decision. Oh, right, but you. You don't want to acknowledge that because that requires accountability that requires self-awareness that requires responsibility you don't want any of that you just want to feel your stupid ass garbage feelings god i, I hope you were alone for the rest of your life <laughs> i hope you never find a guy that i hope you get ran. I mean, you probably have been ran through which is funny yeah keep keep that mindset queen you're a queen don't accept anything less grow old with your cats idiot and with that information, with that knowledge, it's honestly disrespectful for a man to ever propose to me a coffee date. I wouldn't even go on a coffee date with my friends. My friend knows better not disrespectful. to ask me to have coffee with her. And I know better not to ask my friends that either because they're going to feel the same exact way. If we are going to get coffee, it's going to be on our way to the restaurant or on our way back from the restaurant. So I met a girl in- Oh yes, because these are just universally defined standards that everyone understands. Now, I would like, because you know, this plays into what you're talking about. So coffee dates, what are other things that you could bring up as examples of low effort that wouldn't be worthy of your time that's disrespectful for them to even propose that? Different ways to try to get to know you. Yeah, that's disrespectful. How dare you? What if they want to go on a walk with you? Oh, low effort. Sorry. Okay. Want to go to the park? Walk our dogs together? No, low effort. Sorry, you should be buying me something. Um, okay. I'll drive you around, even though that's not like that's still a service to you. Them having to reach out to you, them making up all the plans, them doing stuff. Why don't you propose something? Why don't you say, "Hey, let's go do this"? Oh, right, because you're entitled. You're you're self-absorbed. You want to demand shit from the dude so that you can be benefited. Right, right, right. Sorry, and I am sorry for acknowledging that because I know accountability is the scariest thing to, to women like this. I mean, if you're applying your made up garbage bullshit that you were told to believe in to that, what other shit do you consider to be low effort? I mean, I brought up the walk thing. I brought up a park. Sorry, you're not spending money on me. That's low effort. You need to show up and do stuff for my benefit, even though you already had to do everything in order for me to consider you to be a valid enough option to go out on a dinner date with or just a date with. 
I thought it was about, I thought romance was about love. I thought it was about connection. I thought it was about trying to find a partner who you, you vibe with, who you can have conversation. No, no, right, it's not about that. It's about you're a prop, you're an object that fulfills a purpose. But here you are saying that you don't want to be viewed as that, even though you're doing that exact same shit to the dude just by the fact that you're expecting this shit from him. Oh, right, you want to objectify the dude while, while you're the strong, independent queen. Right, right, okay. It's pathetic. These, this, this, these are low quality people. And if a woman says stuff like this, dude, leave her there with the bill. I mean, granted, she probably wouldn't have gotten to the point of which you're able to, there's any potential capacity for you to spend money on them. But like, dude, ditch them. Let them pay for it themselves. They're strong and independent. They can, they can deal with it. Let's get to the next dumb bitch. I don't know if we're gonna go through all of their opinion because you know, they speak slow and they're not really making any unique articulate points so let's just let's make our way through this and we'll find stuff that's worthy of talking about so let's get it coffee dates don't make it easier for you they make it easier for him to date multiple women i've done one coffee date how dare the guy do that i know i keep pausing because you know they're saying there's rapid fire bullshit how dare the guy do that you should be the one doing that you should be the one that's choosing picking and choosing and getting on different dates with all sorts of different dudes while they pay for shit for you how dare the guy do that you're the one that should be benefited at their expense, not the other way around. Selfish parasite, that's what that is. All right, let's keep going. Coffee day ever in my entire life, and this is the reason why I will never, ever, ever do it again. I match with this guy, this is in my straight era, so I was only dating guys, um, and he was very persistent. He really, really wanted to take me out, so I was like, okay, whatever, he's being persistent. Let's go out. He offers a coffee date, and at the time, I'm like so single. I'm like, whatever, like I've never done a coffee date before. A lot of times, usually guys will take you out to dinner, but whatever, he wants to go on a coffee date. He sends me the place, he sends me the time, and then we meet, and and we grab coffee um it seemed nice on paper because he like drove a nice car he had a poor she had like the same dog that i have as he travels a lot with all right a few things and it should give you a good reflection of the level of entitlement i mean given the extent of if you're an american you've dealt with western women you definitely know the degree of entitlement but here's a perfect example of just the sheer glutton of entitlement right her baseline default Right, oh, it's nice, uh, I can get, I go on lots of dates, all sorts of dudes. The average, like the average dude, he always brings me out on dinner. He always, he always spends money on me. Now this one guy, he has lots of money and he drives a nice car and he drives a Porsche, even though it's the same thing. <laughs> like it's all good stuff, right? He, he, he's high value and I like that. That means he's better, right? Therefore he can be a certain, ser act in service to benefit me, right? And I, I want that because I've been uh, conditioned by my culture and my environment, the people around me that I deserve everything while giving nothing in return other than just being a prop that people can look and sometimes have sex with. And it's probably not even very good sex. Most dudes, they don't even get propositions. They don't get asked out on dates. They don't get offered these types of things. Yet you're so fucking like egotistical and entitled and have had all of these things handed to you on a silver plate by men that like you've gotten so deluded to the point where it's like, I don't want this. I don't want that. I don't want this. Oh, there's a million offers everywhere. I don't want that. I don't want this. I want this one though. But ah, it's not quite what I wanted. Just the fact that I have so many options allows me to be this stringent when it comes to my choice of, of people, of getting with certain people who are asking me to take me out. That like, that's, that's disgusting. Fuck people like this. Hopefully she grows old and dies alone with cats. That'd be hilarious. That'd be quite the meme, right? And be it would be karma, which I don't believe in karma. Things in life don't play out just because of what people do right and wrong. People are gonna get screwed. People are gonna get benefited. Whether or not they're a bad person, whether or not they're a good person, none of it matters. But that would be some type of comeuppance for this person's garbage, shallow mindset. Now, you could also make the argument that this person doesn't know any better, right? Which that doesn't work for me because she's an adult. She like we should expect humans to be like capable logical rational creatures but that's uh, that's asking too much especially from women like this but like you could also make the argument it's cultural conditioning she doesn't know any better she was told that this is the way that she's allowed to conduct herself as an individual she was like it, it, this was what was handed to her and of course she's gonna see it that way if you have some dumbass piece of shit spoiled little brat who's been given everything who's had no degree of accountability who's had parents that just like bend over backwards for them it's like of course they're gonna turn out spoiled and shitty and worthless you can't really expect anything better but at the end of the day i mean that's a different instance because that's a child they don't have they're still developing their self-awareness which You'd like to think that people can acquire it when they get older, but they don't. Just the fact that this dumb bitch is making a TikTok that has 15,000 likes. Ugh, gross. So, I mean, it makes sense why it's a... That number, being as high as it is, is a reflection of, like, the types of people who use this app. It's a, a, lot of, a lot of people who use TikTok are just a lot of dumb women that, are, that hate men and are conditioned to hate men. 
and are entitled and egotistical and low value, low quality. Low va value and quality, they don't, they're not the same thing. <laughs> value is the, the thing that you, stuff that you can afford other people. Quality is your substance, but nobody cares about substance. Humans, for the most part, aren't good enough for that. But um, yeah, let's hear what she, what she had a problem with when it came to this guy. It's like, you have lots of money and you're not spending it on me? What the fuck? I'm a woman. I deserve that, even though I don't matter. I guarantee, let's get, I guarantee that's what she's gonna say. Which is okay, and then he starts talking about how he goes on so many dates on this app that we met on. He's talking about how he is constantly going on dates with the app that we met on, and he loves doing coffee dates because, like, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Coffee dates are easy, and I'm... 90% sure that I paid for my own coffee too. Let me start off by saying no woman is a gold digger. Wait, you paid for your own food when going out to get food? What the hell? I know coffee's not food, but the point still stands and if you don't understand what I'm saying, then you're fucking stupid and try to like understand my words. But like, I thought it was about the re relation. I thought it was about the connection. I thought it was about getting to love somebody and no, oh wait, no, it's not about that. Hmm, you're a thing. I'm 90% sure that I bought my own food, my own drink when we out, went out for drinks, even though you asked me to go out to drinks, even though you were the one that, that initiated, you were the one that planned it, you were the one that presumably drove me there in your Porsche, you were the one that's probably leading the interaction, you were the one that probably, <laughs> and now I want you to pay for it. But you're trying to like, now you're telling me you went on a bunch of dates that are, and you're choosing coffee dates because they're easier? No, 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 no. You need to put more and more effort to benefit me, even though I am useless and worthless and low value, low quality, low quality. I need to keep, those words are not interchangeable. Low quality, this sucks, this person sucks. And this is stupid. Very last, very last bit of what she's saying, then we'll move on, but what else is she? She's saying no woman is a gold digger because they want you to take her out to dinner. A man asks you- Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can start off by saying nope? Whoa, 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 hold on. What the fuck did you just say, bitch? A woman is a gold digger because they want you to take her out to dinner. Uh yes, they are. I want you to do something to afford value for me so that I don't have to do anything in return. No woman is a gold digger because they expect you to spend money on them. A person who forms a relationship with another purely to extract money from them. A person who forms a relationship with another person purely to extract money from them. Women aren't gold diggers who want you to spend money on them. Hmm, something doesn't add up here. Oh, right, you're just saying words and you want those words to mean something because of your stupid ass feelings. Well, because you are benefited by gaslighting reality and in turn that makes you feel good, right? Because who wouldn't want to be benefited at the expense of other people? I mean, come on, right? Especially when you're told that that's okay. Oh God. All right, that was your last chance, you dumb bitch. Next person. Here's somebody that does like coffee dates, but even still there's a problem. Let's see, let's see what stupid shit you have to say. Unpopular opinion, I prefer a coffee date for a first date. When I'm meeting somebody in an app, I have no idea who they are. The last thing I wanna do is give up an evening of mine to sit through, which I have done so many fucking times, I can't even begin to express how many guys will say, let's go out for drinks, so let's get dinner. And you're sitting there and within seconds of even meeting them, you know you're not interested in them. You know that this is not somebody that's your person. You can feel the vibe is off, but now you have to sit through an entire dinner. And the thoughts of even saying that that means that you are more of a high quality person, if you are putting your self esteem in and the fact that someone's taking you out to dinner versus coffee, that's a bigger conversation for us to have oh my god the level of fucking ego the level of entitlement most dudes don't even never get asked to go out but you, for you it's still not fucking good enough when you choose to go on those fucking dates with those guys that you're not interest, interest, interested in even though most guys aren't even given that fucking chance oh my god shut your fucking worthless mouth dude oh my god holy shit like, I've made so many videos about why you just shouldn't get with West women. This is why. Their baseline expectation of, it's because of the privilege. They're so overwhelmingly, gluttonously privileged to the point where it's so fucking annoying. It's so parasitic. Like, what, like, oh my God. I've been on so many dates, so many men asked me out and offered me shit, took me out on dinner, lunch, made the plans, approached me, did all the effort, and it's still not good enough. More, more, me, you do stuff for me. 
You shut your worthless fucking mouth, dude. Oh my God. Don't date Western women. This sucks, man. There's, there's so many of them saying the same shit. All I have to do is could like fucking type in the tiniest little, I literally typed in coffee date on TikTok. And then within like, these are the first dozen videos that I came across. They're all saying the same thing. This is corruption, dude. This is, this is Western culture. Stay away. Do not deal with this shit unless you want this, unless you want to attach a parasite to you. This sucks, man. Oh my God. And this is someone who likes the, the coffee dates. Yet they're coming from a position of, oh, I've wasted so much time on all sorts of dudes who offered me shit. Oh my God, that must be so hard for you. Oh, to have all these dudes approach you and you can just pick and choose which one you like. But oh no, you don't like this one. Oh no, you said yes and now he's buying you shit, but he doesn't also make you feel things. Oh my God. Garbage, dude. What other stupid shit? Very last thing. She's only 10, about 20 seconds left. I run multiple businesses. I'm a dating coach. I've got a clothing company called Software and a podcast. I don't drink alcohol. So why would I spend Nobody an cares. evening of mine that could be spent doing a million other things when I could just go meet for a quick coffee during the day, no distraction, see the person for who they are, no harm, no foul. If it's good, great. We can plan for a second date and go out for a beautiful dinner together and have a great night together. And if it's not, see you later. It was nice to meet you. I look at that as efficiency. Okay, that last part, you slightly redeemed yourself, but not with all the stupid ass baggage you brought along beforehand, the, the level of entitlement. Oh, you're so good, you're so special. I run multiple businesses, I'm a dating coach. Blah, 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 efficiency. It's like, it should be about the conversation, it should be about the connection, but like, given all the other shit that you were talking about before, your standard, like your attitude, that is a result of your prior past experiences that men have afforded you. Ugh. Even all this shit, even if you're saying all this stuff that's good, there's still all this other garbage. Don't date Western women. That's a, that's a good takeaway from this. All right, last lady. Expect more garbage. Like, it's not gonna be any better. We haven't come across anyone that's actually like a decent quality person. So it's, it's just endless amounts of entitlement and ego. But let's see what this lady has to say. If a woman is not even your type, what difference does it make if she doesn't wanna go on a coffee date? You wouldn't take her out no way. So why the hell are y'all having a tantrum because that woman says she don't want a coffee date? There are women who will accept your coffee date. Get with them. Was it what she said or was it true? Agreed, but that also applies vice versa, of which you're probably not gonna point that out because that's a detriment to you. Women don't, if a, if a guy proposed a coffee date, the girl doesn't like it, then she should just, then the guy stepping away from that as a result of her not doing that because you know, it's, it's not, it's less interaction with a parasite that's gonna be entitled and expect more shit from him. And the woman's just gotta then go find someone else. You have nothing to complain about. What are you, what are you crying about? Why are you making TikTok videos about coffee, about men who propose coffee dates to you and how it's low effort and low value? You should just get over it and deal with it. Yeah, it's uh, it's, yeah, one way, one way. This way, not that way. It can't be reciprocal. Equal, but you're also empowered and, and superior. Cause that's, yeah, shut the fuck up. But let's keep going. She's right, though, about that. The not the the not the thing that I pointed out, but like, yeah, if this if if you ask a bitch out and she's like, oh, I'm a dumb bitch, I want you to put more effort into me, even though like that's that's like more of a risk to you. Yeah, move on. Garbage. If you have the money to be spending on 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 women, and, and like just in general, like save up, go somewhere else, date women in a different culture, in a different place, in a different time. Don't date American women. All these women we heard from are fucking American. Ba like, shit, garbage. Don't date American women, that's my advice, and you'll be saving yourself. Headaches are inevitable, but the extent, the degree, the volatility of the types of issues that you're gonna run into, America's got a huge privilege issue. It's got a huge entitlement, huge ego problem. You're gonna run into less of that when you go to other places. You're gonna run into problems everywhere you go, that's inevitable, but the type of issues, the frequency, the degree that's specific to culture so all right finish up your your yapping and you're afraid she might influence a woman who is your type not to take your crumbs somewhere right now there's a 15 year old planning his first date and he's going to take her to a a movie dinner or something going on but you got 25 year olds 35 year olds 45 year olds fighting to the death to spend anything over 20 dollars 
her, prove herself to Firstly, you. Firstly, crumbs, so she can take your crumbs. He's the one planning the date. He's the one thinking about it. He's the one that approaches her. Him doing stuff for her, him doing stuff for her, him doing stuff for her, and then it's, and it's crumbs. Oh, I don't want that, you broke boy. Disgusting, disgusting. It is not equal. Oh, it is supremacy. That's what that shit is. It's all to benefit the women. And that 15 year old, he's a naive, he, he'll, he'll become more that 25 year old, that 35 year old who's fighting to spend less than $20 because he hasn't had experience with women. This is what's out there. He'll have it, he'll, he'll go through the ringer and he'll be like, oh, these bitches ain't shit. They, they're not worth more than fucking $20. <laughs> So why would I act, why would I spend more than that on them? They suck. They provide no value. They're entitled. They're parasites. They, they, they're just, they're egotistical. They're worthless. So why? He'll learn. <laughs> but keep going. Her, prove herself to you? Men with receding hairlines? Men with ED? In their 20s and 30s? And somebody got to prove themselves to you to get a proper date? If you can't afford it, just say that. But just like you can have a preference, so can everybody else. Y'all are mad because the jig is up. There once was a time where coffee dates were fine. But y'all overplayed your hand again. Women got hip to the game and said, hell no. And here we are. This woman sucks. Shut your fucking face, dude. Honestly. One thing. The very last thing. So it's the fault of these men over here who do this particular thing that you've had experiences with that, that allows you to apply prejudices to those guys over here who have nothing to do with any of this shit. Cool, great. Secondly, it's on. You're saying that it's wrong for the men to screen the one to, to like it's an interview for them to meet the standard of the man. Yet you're the one fucking saying that you, they have to meet your standard of the coffee date. Oh, coffee date's low effort. Sorry, that doesn't meet my standards. But it's wrong for you to act as if like you're able to apply any standards my way, dude. Fuck these. Fuck these women. Garbage. They suck. Don't, just don't, <sighs> I've already said everything. Fuck these people, dude, honestly.